Hi, I'm Umar and today we will be reviewing this 2010 Nissan OT. So let's start. This car was introduced in 2001 with the name of Mitsubishi EK Wagon. Then with, because of the technology sharing, Nissan also acquired the same technology and they started producing the same car with their brand name as Nissan OT. Nissan started the production in 2005 with the second generation of EK Wagon. Now with third generation that is available Nissan has renamed this car again as Nissan Days and Mitsubishi is still selling the car as Mitsubishi EK Wagon. As usual, first we will look at all the interesting features of this car and then we will take it for a road drive. This is also a 660cc vehicle, a key car in, that is known as a key car in Japan. So let's start with the features and then we will see how it drives. With the front of the vehicle, it's just a regular vehicle with the radiator grille lights and everything. The number plate however is again on one side which is on the right side and this is uh, a common thing in these smaller cars. This car also comes with manual seat adjustment for the driver's seat only. Coming in the interior, you have these weird cup holders. These are like something I've not seen in any other car before. You open it like tuck, tuck and you can put the bottle, cup, whatever and you can close it like that. As per the size, this is what you have. Then you have your standard um, power window controls. The, all the trims is plastic. Over here you have heated seats. Yes, this car has heated seats. Then you have your mirror controls, the light adjuster. Coming in the center, you have your steering wheel with an airbag. The gear shifter is over here, which is in the center. And over here, you have your uh, climate control position. Your speedometer is in the center. And over here, you have a power socket. Over here, you have a storage space that can come out like this. Then you have your gloves compartment. This one is an open space. Then you have this one. There is no lock or latch. It's just closed and open. You have this uh, space and over here as well you have another gloves compartment space which is again it's an open space without a lock it's a space without lock or anything and you also have some space underneath the steering so you have a lot of space in the dashboard plus you also have these door pockets so if you need something more you can put these in these door pockets one more thing this front seat is a full bench seat so you can just raise this armrest and you have a complete seat or you can put it down and you have an armrest like that just start the car and see what it has so coming over here your gear selector and whatever gear the car is comes in this bigger dial like you see this then you have your fuel and your trip meter other than that you have your trip A, trip B this is your let's see you have your odometer 
trip A, trip B, and this is some 16. I don't know what this is. Sitting at the rear, you have good leg space. This front seat is reclined all the way at the back, and still I have good leg space. This uh, seat and the head space, this is all also very good. Two adults, yes. Three adults, no. Two adults and two, uh, one adult and two children, yes. Two adults and one children, not that comfortable fit. This is something that is a common thing in these uh, 660cc cars. You have a cup holder over here in the center as well. And then you have these cup holders on the doors. So both the doors, rear doors also have these cup holders. And this rear seat can also recline. So right now it's this is the recline position. Then you have this, this, this. So you can sit like this as well and you can just recline it like this. Now coming to the back of the car, you have Nissan's logo, then you have OT written there, you have tail lights, the number plate is over here. These reflectors are broken, but these are two reflectors in the bumper and you have a rear wiper. This is a high mount stop lamp over here and you open the trunk, you have a thing like that. The trunk space is not that big, it's a very small trunk, but you, what you have is you have a provision of folding these rear seats. These are a split of 50-50 and in order to fold these you can just press it from here and the seats will be folded. The same thing that is used to recline the seats, you can use the same thing to fold the seats as well to have a bigger trunk space. These are all the interesting features of this car. Now let's take this car for a road drive and see how it drives. Alright, so now we are driving this Nissan OT. I have with me Zuhayb, he owns this car. He's the friend who was gracious enough to give this car today. So let's see. Okay, so this is not a car that you would get if you are someone who likes to drive fast. The purpose of cars like this is to take you from point A to point B and that's about it. You don't get this car so you can drive fast or take it on the track or anything of the sort. This is not the car for that. So if you are looking for something like that, you should not be considering a car like this. Cars like these are economical. This car gives around 15 kilometers per liter average. So this is an economical car, a very economical car. With air conditioning, you don't have a lot of pick. That's another thing. Uh, about the visibility, the visibility is decent. There are a little longer A-pillars as in all the new cars, so you cannot talk much about the front blind spots. That's there, that's in every other car. There is no car that comes now because of the security and this, uh, because of the safety may, uh, regulations. This is how the cars need to be now. The acceleration is not there. The braking is good because it has ABS at the end of the day. Suspension wise as well, the car, just like any other Japanese car, the car does have soft suspension which means if you are not very careful on the ports and the speed breakers or anything of the sort, you will get the car uh, here that you will hear your car scraping against the ground when you will come at a speed breaker or a pot or anything like that the handling is okay the, it is a little bit of body roll that I can feel when I t try to toss and turn the car and that is there because of the tall body of this car again that isn't something new you would expect a car with a tall body to have a little bit of body roll if not a lot Turning cycle, okay. The turning cycle is nice. I was easily able to turn the car, but yes, I did have, feel that body roll. So maybe the center of gravity in this car is such that you do have these body rolls. Today is a hot day, and the air conditioning cooling is good. So I mean, we are two people sitting right now. The air conditioning is really good at three, two now. 
they've just turned it at four, so I'm sure if there were people sitting at the back as well. So the air conditioning is good. This is a car which is a good car if you want a car for your daily running within the city. So a car like this, you can just park it anywhere. It's convenient in the traffic and that is why the purpose of this car. So no, I'm not going to do a 0 to 100 on this car because this isn't a car made for something of that sort. This is a car made to be driven in city and that's what this car offers and it offers that nicely. That was all about our review for this Nissan OT. Please uh, let us know in the comment section what you think about this review. The, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can click here. If you'd like to watch more videos, you can click here and over here. Till next time.